Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 21, and today we're talking about the PS delay or the pitch shifting delay in the effects tab. For this demonstration on the synth section, I just have the analog engine with a saw wave going to this module itself. So out of the box, let's bring this up a little bit here and let's increase our feedback so we have a little bit more delays to work with. And let's hit a note and see what it sounds like. Now it sounds like a regular delay for the most part, but we have a slight different stereo detune here. And if we hover our mouse over, it says seven cents right here. Now let's increase this pretty drastically and we can see these dots kind of get smeared. And now this is stereo detuning these different types of delay just as the knob suggests. So let's double click this here to go back to default here. So some of the knobs that we talked about before in the last delay is basically very similar here. We have the time sync where you can sync to your tempo, sync triplets, sync dotted, or you can go to time to individually with, uh, you can more fine tune or hone in your delay in milliseconds. And also you can hold right click and have a very fine amount. So if you really want something specific, I would reach for the right click in that section there. So let's go back to sync here. And then we have a stereo offset. So let's take a listen to this. Now off the bat, we can always kind of hear that there's almost like a delay kind of offsetting between the left and the right channels. By default, it sounds very mono. Now exaggerated. So it's very useful to get a more so of a stereotype of field with your offset here. Even just small amounts can really help it out. And as before, feedback controls how many the delays are gonna be in the signal. So if we do some kind of drastic like this, we're gonna have a lot of delays. So be careful with this knob. You don't really wanna go all the way to the top because that's just gonna be a, a lot of delays and maybe you might not want that, maybe you do. But yeah, just be careful for that. Now it starts to get kind of cool. So let's go to maybe a right around here for our feedback. Now we see this list here called normal. Now if you select this and go to octave up, take a listen to see what happens here. Now if we go to octave down, I'm sure you can guess what happens. Very interesting. So going back to normal, now we have this pitch shifting knob here. Now this is cool because as we turn this, we can see our graph moves and we can go all the way up to, I mean, totally we can go up to two octaves, 24 semitones, but let's just take a listen to 12. So one octave here. If we go to 24 semitones, it gets out of control pretty quick. And we also can also go the opposite direction downwards, minus 24 as well. So let's go back to a default here and let's take a look at this spray knob here. So if we turn up our dry wet here, let's increase our stereo detune a little bit, some of our feedback, and let's turn spray off. Kind of get used to that sound. Now with spray, it's very bizarre and turn this down all the way. Now with spray, it's a very weird effect. If you hover your mouse over, it says sets the spray in milliseconds, which is kind of not really well described. So I think with this one, you really have to use your ears and kind of understand what's going on. Turn it down all the way. And all the way to the top. And we can see how weird the delays get over here. So it's a very strange knob right here, the spray one. And with this, I would always think a little bit goes a long way. Something maybe kind of halfway might be kind of cool. And then definitely with the high pass and the low pass frequency, you kind of want to drag down the low pass a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more, more uh, realistic type of sound. So this is just cutting off the high frequencies and the high pass is the opposite, cutting off the low frequencies. And keep in mind, this only affects the first delay. So your initial note that you hit won't be processed, but it's going to be the delays after that. Should be self-explanatory, but I thought I'd mention it just in case. And now a very cool part about this here is to go back to default. And in this list here, there's a lot of cool different presets that we can play around with. So we have ether. Then we have falling down. 
Very cool. Moving on from there, we have Fifth Rush. Moving on from that, we have Low Harmony. Moving on, Shimmer-ish. And that would be very cool if we added some voices to that as well. So let's turn this down just a little bit and see what that sounds like with the voices. Very interesting. Let's take these voices back down and then moving on from Shimmer Ish, go down to Sprinkle. Moving on from Sprinkle, we have Unison. Now imagine putting actual unison on that as well. And that is it for the uh, for the presets here. What's really cool too is we can also save something. So if we have a cool thing that we designed or made something and you wanna use that in a later patch, you can always select this menu and hit save as, and then type in whatever you wanna call it and you can always reuse it in another patch. A very cool feature. This PS delay is kind of one of my favorites. It's like the delay, but it has a little bit more options. Maybe sounds a little bit more analog. So a lot of different cool stuff to play with there. So thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to look at the tape echo, which is kind of similar, still in the delay realm, but it does have its own little quirks to it as well. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.